Hello, my name is Ruben St. Tell. Welcome to the channel. Please leave a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share with a friend. All right, let's get right into it. Bitcoin is at $65,000, $66,000 last time I looked at it. And had you been listening to me this whole time when I kept telling you to hodl, consolidate, hodl, consolidate, you'd be one happy person. Let's talk about it right now. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, today is the day that everyone who has bought Bitcoin or HODL is in the green. Everyone is making money right now on Bitcoin. However, that does come with a cost. The all-time high right now is around 66,000. It may get to 67,000. It's great for everyone, except if you're trying to get to the 21 million club. The 21 million club is basically this there will only be 21 million coins does that mean there'll ever be 21 million holders no if you have deep pockets like michael saylor or elon musk you can buy thousands millions of bitcoins really if you have the money for it which limits the amount of people that can own a whole bitcoin right now having one bitcoin is equivalent to sixty six thousand dollars and if you follow logic and me I say within nine years, one Bitcoin would be a million dollars. That means it's going to be really cost prohibitive. You think $66,000 is hard to come by? Imagine having a million dollars to just pop down and buy a Bitcoin. It's not going to happen. Now, that does not mean you can't eventually get a full Bitcoin. If you dollar cost average and you hodl, you may be able to get to it because there will be a dip. It may go down 90%, 80%. And I know you're probably thinking, right, that's not gonna happen. But you know what? This next bear market that's coming, this correction is gonna be massive. And it can happen. It happened last time. We went from 64,000 down to 29,000. So it's very possible that this is going to happen again. And when it does, had you listened to me and you bought the dip, you consolidated and you huddled and you repeated that step over and over again, you could have been well on your way to having a full Bitcoin and it's not too late. It's never too late. It's always a good time to buy Bitcoin. Now, financial advice, just telling you how it is. It's a fact. It's always a good time. Had you bought, you would have been in the green now. And when it starts going down, if you dollar cost average and consolidate, you'll be in the green again. Um, so maybe there's a chance for you getting 20 million club. Maybe not, but you can still make money with Bitcoin and cryptocurrency if you dollar cost average and hodl. Please tell me that you've been hodling. You see this shirt? Hodl. Also, new merch is available at Amazon.com. Look up Ubiquitous Reality or just click this link right here or down below. All right, let's get into it. Bitcoin, $66,000 all time new high. Now, this is a great, great, amazing high to get to. However, that's not the end of it. People are calling it to get to 200, 300 by the end of the year. Now, I know if you watched my previous videos, and if you haven't, there's a link right here. There's a link right here, or you can click down below. Anyway, as my previous videos, I said there's no way it's gonna get to 100,000 by the end of the year. Do I think it's gonna go higher to 70 or 80 or 90 or even 100,000? I still don't think so. Does that make me a bear? No. I definitely have looked at the charts by Plan B. His lowest case scenario for the end of the year is $135,000. Now he's been on point, but again, this is a brand new market. You can't follow the charts in this market. What happened in the past is not vindictive of, vindictive? In, indictive of what's gonna happen in the future when it comes to cryptocurrency because it just does not care about the charts. It just moves how it wants to move. So that leaves us with one very important question. Will Bitcoin hit $100,000 by the end of the year? I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I'm gonna stick by my original thinking is that it's not gonna hit that high. I think there'll be a retrace and settle around 40 or 50,000 for the end of the year, and that'll be it. That's what I'm calling for. Now, let's say I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, great. That means I just made more money. If I'm wrong, I'm fine. As long as I am dollar cost averaging, like I've been telling you guys to do all along, and there's no way you can lose. That's that's literally it. I mean, there's not any much, any much? That's not proper English. What is proper English? Okay, I'm going on a tangent. 
there's not much more I can say about Bitcoin other than I told you so, <laughs> I told you so, and I told you so, and I'm gonna continue to tell you so. And again, I am not a financial expert. In fact, no one on YouTube is a financial expert. It doesn't matter who they are. They're all coming up to this idea based on either their gut feeling or the charts or whatever else. You know, there's different tools out there um, that can help them better understand the charts. But at the end of the day, the charts are not always right, especially in this market where it's not following the normal charts. Whatever you have that's not gonna ruin your budget, you need to dollar cost averaging in Bitcoin because there's no way for you to lose money in it. Not financial advice, just what has happened to me and my friends and the family that have listened to me. Had you bought Bitcoin when I first told you, you'd be in the green. Have you bought Bitcoin when I told you two, three months ago, you'd be in the green. Everyone that's bought Bitcoin is in the green right now. Next point, you should start thinking of an exit strategy. And I told you last month about my exit strategy and I've been sticking to that. I did take out once it got to 59 and I'm gonna take out some more once it gets to, or if it gets to 70 or 80 or 90, just take a little bit out. Because it's smart to dollar cost average in, it's also smart to dollar cost average out. Because when Bitcoin drops, it doesn't go down slowly, it does huge, huge crashes. I'm talking about 60, 70, 80, 90% drops within a few days. As ha happy as you are now, had you dollar cost average in and you have money in there now and it's all green and you're looking at your charts and you're looking at your account like, oh, this is amazing. Think how badly you'll feel if that goes down 90%. That's why you have to have an exit strategy. It's all gravy when it's going up, but you also have to have a plan for when it starts to go down. No one knows when it's going to actually go down. I'm thinking that $60,000, $70,000 and it's going to go down. Not make me a bear, just makes me a realist. Now, once it goes down, if it goes down 80, 90% and it retraces down to a low level, had you started moving that money to USDC, not out to your bank account, but move that to USDC, you would have that on the sidelines to buy more Bitcoin. So when it goes back up, you're ready to go. That's what I did. So when it was at 45, 46, 39, 29,000, I kept buying as much as possible. And now it's like Christmas. Now, a lot of people might not tell you this. You got to start dollar cost averaging out of Bitcoin. And the bull run is not forever. It's not going to keep going up. So you have to be prepared. Let's talk about Ethereum. I'm thinking it's going to hit its all time high relatively soon. It is the one that's actually going to flip over Bitcoin, not dollar wise, but higher percentage raise than Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin is going to top off low 70s. I think Ethereum has a chance to run up to $8,000 by the end of this year. Is that ludicrous? Yeah, but the way the market's running, I think it's totally possible. And if I'm wrong, you know what? I'm wrong. I can admit it. I'll make a video telling you I'm wrong. Again, this is not financial advice. This is just my thoughts. That's all I'm saying. All right, Shiba Unu. So I put a few dollars here, a little pocket change in Shiba Unu, just for the heck of it, for fun to see what would happen. And boy, did it go up. It really went up and I made, I mean, I made, I made a little, I made a little bag. And of course I parlayed that, sold it after I reached my target. And that's really important. Make sure you always have a target price of where you want to exit. And when it comes to consolidating and stacking your Bitcoins, you should sell, literally, no one will tell you this, you should sell everything <laughs> except for Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, ADA. That's it. Everything else is an alt that can be sold off. Yeah, you may lose 10 billion X, but those are like playing the lottery. Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, XRP, you're pretty much guaranteed to make money. With the exception of XRP, because that, that case is still going on, but that is one I would still keep. It's, it's kind of a gray area for me. It's, it's not a lottery pick because they have such a great footprint already. But then again, if they lose the case, that's all for naught. You may notice me rocking my new shirt, whole BTC. It's part of the merch collection that I got. It's a Ubiquitous Originality. It's available on Amazon.com. Um, the link is down below and you can see it right here. Please go to it, check out all my new designs. There's over 56 different designs. There's sweaters, there's hoodies, there's t-shirts. Check it out, uh, support the channel, um, hit a like button, hit like button a couple times. I don't think that really works. 
but send it to a friend, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, turn on notifications so you can get when new videos are coming out, and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you want to hear about. And I'm not going to promise I'll have one every week because it's just not going to happen, but I'll try to get one more than once a month. All right, I'm out. Thank you. Peace.